Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Ryu from Street Fighter. Let's get started on the left side of the face with the eyebrow. We're going to start on the outside of the head and we're going to curve up and in. From here we're going to curve down in the opposite direction towards the inside of the face. So from here we're going to curve down and pull that in. From this point I just want to draw a little frown line. We're going to curve upwards. Let's go back to the outside and draw the top edge of the eyebrow. From the outside edge here we're going to curve up and out, so it tapers upwards. Now we take this point and curve down towards the inside of the frown line. So just gonna curve down so it gets a little bit narrower as we come in. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So we're gonna leave a gap in the center. We start with the frown line. Curving down. Now we're gonna curve the bottom edge of the eyebrow. Curving up. Now we're gonna curl down the side of the eyebrow. Coming down. Let's go back to the inside and draw the top edge the eyebrow. So going a little bit thicker as we come up to the top, and we'll curve down to the bottom point of the eyebrow. In the middle here, I'm just going to draw an extra frown line. So from the left side, we're just going to curve up the middle and up. Let's tuck the irises underneath the eyebrow. So we're going to start on the left side, we're going to draw a little half circle. Start from the top here, curve around to the bottom, and we'll pull that up underneath the eyebrow. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Starting on the inside, On the left side here, we're going to draw a little circle for a highlight. Starting from the top, come around, and in the middle of the iris, we're going to draw a pupil. So at the bottom of the highlight, we're just going to circle around and tuck this in on the side. We're going to color this in black. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So we're going to start with that half circle. It's going to get tucked in underneath the eyebrow. And then at the side of the highlight, we're going to draw on the pupil. From here, we're going to curve around, and then tuck that in, and we're going to color that in black. Let's move in between the eyes. Right down here, we're going to draw on the nose. So it's basically that U shape. Curve around, and then up. And then below the nose, we're going to draw on the mouth. So it's basically a curve from left to right, going up in the middle, and down on the right side. On the ends of the mouth, we're just going to draw a little bracket. And at the bottom of the mouth, just down here, we're going to draw a little curve that goes up, just for the bottom lip. Now from the left side of the eyebrow, we're going to curve down toward the bottom of the chin, and then back up on the right side. So we step over here, curve down, it's almost like a big half circle, coming down towards the chin, and we're going to pull that up on the right side, going up beside the right eyebrow. On the sides of the face, we're just going to accentuate the cheekbones. So right underneath the eye, we're just going to curve inwards and down same thing on the right side. Now let's go back up to these two points and connect it with a curve for the bottom edge of the headband. So this is going to go in behind the eyebrows. Start from the left side, go up in behind the eyebrow, go up and towards the middle. Now we're going to pull this down behind the right eyebrow and down towards that right point. On the sides here we're just going to add the little sideburns. So we're going to step in from this point, curve around and then down towards the side of the head the same thing on the right side. Now just below these points we're going to add in the ears. So on the left side we're going to step down, curving up and out, and we'll just pull this in towards the side of the head. Right in here we're going to draw a little hook for the inside part of the ear, curving down. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So stepping down from that point, curving up and out, just tuck this in towards the side of the head. On the side here we're just going to curve up and out. Let's draw on the sides of the headband. So on the left side here, I'm going to draw two curves going out. Going around it, in, and draw that one more time. On the right side, we're just going to draw one curve going up to about the same height as we have on the left. Now the top two points here are going to connect up in the middle, but we're going to have some hair coming down in the front. So we start on the left side, I'm going to curve up and in to right about here, just above the left eye. Now I'm going to overlap the hair. So from this point, I'm going to go up and I'm going to curve down. We're going to go back out, so we're tapering the line going out. We're going to overlap this line with another hairband coming down. Now this is going to curve back up and towards the middle. Now we're going to go in the opposite direction. From here we're going to curve down towards the right eye. I'm going to pull this up with a curve. Now I want to overlap this. I'm going to step down and curve up again to right about there. 
gonna draw another separate hair bang coming down. Another curve. We're gonna go back up. Draw another hair bang, a little shorter one. And I'll pull that back up. Now from this point, I just wanna connect to the side of the headband with a curve. Going all the way out. From this point here, I just wanna draw a little wrinkle. So we take that point and just curve across and just vanish it off like that. Let's go back up to the top and draw the rest of the hair. So from this point on the side, we're gonna draw some hairs coming up this way. So curving out, and I'm gonna curve it back up. We do another one. We're gonna go out. Now this point is gonna wave all the way up to the top of the head in the part right here. So we're gonna go up, and it's gonna round it out coming in. We're gonna draw some hair strands coming out this way. So arcing over. I'm gonna pull that back in so it tapers in. Draw one more spike going out and up. And pull that back down. Now we're gonna go in the opposite direction. We'll go up towards the right, and then we'll taper that back down. Do another larger one going out towards the right, and then back in. So you can see I'm just trying to make my way back on towards the right side here. Keep going. We're gonna do another one going across like this. We'll pull that back. Now I'm gonna pull a curve right in towards the side of the headband around and then just tuck that right in there. Okay, so we got the head, let's work our way down the body. So on either side of the chin, we're gonna step down and draw the sides of the body here. So on the left side, we're gonna curve and round out. On the right, we're gonna do it in the opposite direction, curving out and then down. Let's connect those two points with the curve. Down the middle and back up. Now from here, we're gonna draw in the ripped up sleeves. So starting on the left side, I'm gonna draw a series of little curves that go out. Going out back in. I can vary the sizes. I'm going to go do a large one here and one tiny one on the end. From here I'm just going to pull this in behind the head with a straight line. Let's do the same thing on this side. Starting down here, do a little curve, do a tiny one here, do a larger one, and a tiny one, and then I'm going to just pull that back in behind the head. Let's add the collar underneath the neck here. So on the left side, I'm going to curve down over towards the left side. We're gonna draw that twice. I'm gonna step over and just follow that curve all the way down to the bottom of the belt. We're gonna do the opposite on this side, tuck in. So step over here, curving in behind, step over, and draw another curve going in like that. In the middle of the chest here, I'm just gonna draw a short little straight line just to accentuate the chest. Underneath this line, we're gonna tuck the belt in. So right in the middle here, we're gonna draw the knot. So just left the center, we're just gonna draw a curve. We're gonna move over towards the right and draw another curve. Let's connect the bottoms at the bottom here. Now we're gonna add the little belt coming out this way. So from this corner, curve down and out. On the right, we'll do the same thing. Now from these points, we're gonna go straight across in an upwards angle on both sides. Now we take these ends and curve them up towards the top here, top of the knot. Now on the sides of the body, we're going to step in and draw two short vertical lines on the side. Now we're going to connect those two points behind the knot with a curve. Left side, we're going to curve in and out towards the right side. Now if you'd like, you can add some more wrinkles in the gi here. So along this line here, we're going to draw a curve going out. Along the bottom here, we're going to draw another curve going up. Before I get into the legs, I want to draw in the arms. So let's start on the left side here. Just the long side of the body here, I'm gonna draw a curve that goes down and out towards the left. We're gonna round out the thumb with a half circle. At the end of the thumb, I'm gonna draw a little bracket. Now at the bottom edge of the thumb, I'm gonna swirl around the bracket and go up for the first finger. I'm gonna step down here, draw another curve going up for the second finger. And then the third finger, we're gonna come up towards the wrist. Just coming up to right about there. We're gonna connect those two points with a curve for the top of the glove, but we're just gonna go past this line just a little bit. Just over here. Now we're gonna curve this up, and we'll pull that back in towards the inside of the arm. Coming in. Let's draw the back side of the glove here. So along the side of the hand here, we're gonna curve across towards the thumb, and we're gonna pull that up underneath the wristband. Let's go back up to the top here. We step over towards the right, and just curve this underneath the sleeve. Let's go over to the right side and do the exact same thing. So we're gonna step in towards the body, curving down, and we're gonna round out the thumb with a half circle. We'll 
holds off the thumb with a little bracket. At the bottom edge of the thumb, we're going to scroll around the bracket and go up for the first finger, step down, curving up for the second finger, and then the third finger going to come up towards the wrist. Now we're going to do what we did on the left side. We're going to take the inside part of the wrist and curve over that line. We're going to curve up. And now we're going to pull this back in towards the inside of the arm. Let's go ahead and draw the back side of the glove. So right up here, we draw a curve coming down and curving across the knuckles to the outside of the hand. I'm just going to close this line up there. Now we're going to draw the outside of the arm. So just behind the sleeve, I'm just going to curve down and then in behind the glove. I'm going to draw a couple ribbons that come up from behind the head. So behind the left ear lobe, I'm going to curve out and then pull it down. I'm going to go back up here, just step down. It's going to get a little bit wider as I come towards the bottom. So it's going to get a little bit wider. I'm going to close off the bottom with a straight line. So we're going to draw one more down here, just behind it. So right down here, beside the head, curve down and then out around the arm. Go back up here. Now this is going to go behind the arm. Taper up behind the arm here. It's going to continue behind the hand. We'll close that off with a straight line. Let's finish this off with the legs. We're going to start with the bottom part of the gi. So at the corner of the belt, we're just going to curve out and then down. Do the same thing on the right. So it's got a bit of an arc going out this way. We're going to connect those two points with a curve just underneath the belt. Cross, then up. Now let's draw the legs. So in the middle here, just in the bottom, draw a curve from left to right for the lower torso. On the left side, we're going to step in towards the right and just curve down and out. Let's do the same thing on the right. Curve down and out. We're going to add some torn edges just like we did with the sleeve along the bottom of the pant. So from here, we're going to curve around. Draw a small one here. We're going to draw a steeper one that goes up and down. And one tiny one that goes to the outside. Now I'm going to take that point and curve in underneath the bottom of the gi. So it's going to be a little bit of an overlap. The same thing on the right side. We've got a small curve, a large one. I'm just going to continue this in various sized half circles. We'll pull that up underneath the gi. Let's go back to the left side and draw on this foot. So we're going to start with the heel first. So from this point, we're going to step in and draw a little curve that goes inwards. We're going to overlap this with the ball of the foot. So right up here, curve around again. We're going to go back down here draw on the first toe. So it's basically like a C shape that comes around. Now we're going to stack a couple toes this way. Starting from the top, we're going to draw a smaller C and then one more. We'll add one final toe here. Now on the top of the middle toe, we're going to curve the top of the foot coming in to right about there. Now right up at the top of this curve, we're just going to pull a straight line underneath the pant. Let's do the same thing over on the right side. Stepping in, draw a curve for the heel of the foot coming around. Now we're going to step in and draw another curve for the ball of the foot. Now we're going to draw the toe, so a little backward C. Draw another C behind it. And then one more. Now at the top of the middle toe, we're going to curve up and then in. We're going to step back and just draw a straight line underneath the pant. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Chibi Ryu from Street Fighter. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send us your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.